Alright, I'm going to be talking about the recent uh, thing where they started adding these PS2 titles. This is being one of them. Um, I can't even remember the name of this title. Maximo or something. To, whatever. But it's not bad. Uh, but I know that there are people that actually got angry over this. This actually made people annoyed. This is a really good game. I like this game, by the way. It looks a little bit like a PS1 title, but I think it's an early release or something. But it's really a nice game. Uh, anyways. So, yeah, some people were saying, um... What was it? What, what were the, what, I, I'm kind of not understanding exactly what they were angry about. Um, you know, like, uh... Sony, I guess, supposedly should have released a new PS3, you know, with the original hardware in it again. Um, apparently, that's that's what people are saying. But then you would have to buy a brand new PS3 in order to just play PS2 games. And offering these games on the PSN will allow everybody who owns a PS2, I mean PS3, sorry, to play some PS2 games if they do not own a PS2. Hmm. Hmm. You know, and there are people that can't afford 40, 50 bucks for a PS, PS2. So, um, yeah, so that, that does exist. Plus, you know, then they can play the games even in HD, which you can't even do on a PS2 that's 50 bucks. Um, and then I heard some people complaining about the price, which is $9.99, and some games I think are going to be cheaper, kind of like the PS1 titles. $9.99 is not exactly, like, the worst, um, possible price I could think of. Um, I think some of the, even some of the PS1 titles are actually $9.99. Yeah, I, I, I remember, what did I, oh yeah, Symphony, uh, Symphony of the Night, uh, Castlevania. That's $9.99, I do believe. And, um... It's, um... Hmm. Hmm. You know, it's a PS1 title. Uh, what else is $9.99? Uh, there's, there's a few. There's a few $9.99 titles. And, um... So, giving people the option to play these... is I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think giving people a download... And people have been asking for it, too. People have been asking for the games to be on the PSN, PS2 games. And, you know, I've heard, like, Richard R Review Tech was saying, like, um, you know, it's just a um, quick money-making scheme. But they were at, people were asking for this, you know? People were actually asking for PS2 uh, titles to be released on the PSN. So, you know, why is that? It, and honestly, even if it was some... If they were just trying to make an easy a few bucks, I mean, you're gonna try to tell me that you wouldn't want to make a few easy bucks? You know, it's not like they stopped releasing titles for the friggin' system. They just are offering. Uh, I am an idiot. They're offering uh, other, you know, titles, other, you know, PS2 titles now. You can get them even if you do not have a backwards compatible PS. Uh, three. Granted, of course, you... Oh, don't ask. Granted, of course, you, uh, cannot play the discs, and I believe, from what I understand, that the reason for that is because the PS3, if it's not backwards compatible, it can't read... The drive can't read the disc or something. I don't know. But, you know, I just recently had a backwards compatible PS3, which received the yellow light of death. And now I have all these PS2 games. And, you know, it would be cool if I could play them, but, you know, if they release these games that I have on the PSN, you know, the PS2 is not so important to me that I can't just sell that collection of PS2 titles off and use the digital ones. Uh, you know, but that's just me. And this ghost is annoying me. Um, yeah, but for me, I mean... That would be really cool. That would save me space on my, um... You know, on my shelves. Stupid ghost. That would save me space on my shelves and for other stuff that I feel the need to actually collect, like... What is it, um... Oi. 
like maybe even older stuff that I grew up with, like Sega Genesis stuff, N64, even, not even so much N64, but I do like that game, that system. Um, you know, like maybe they would have, you know, I could get some Sega Genesis stuff, you know, stuff from my childhood that I would like to have, and, you know, that would save space for that kind of stuff that I really want to collect. And, uh, yeah, so, and, and also, that would mean that I don't need to get a PS2 or a fucked up PS3 in order to play my PS2 titles. And I just think it would be kind of weird if, if uh, instead Sony decided to, uh, you know, actually, if Sony decided one day to, um, start, actually to release, well, no, let me reword this. If Sony decided to, uh, instead of doing this and they decided to release a brand new PS3 that has backwards compatibility once more and hopefully would be more stable, um, people would probably complain that, uh, you know, now they have to buy a new PS3 if they want the backwards compatibility. And, uh, yeah. I forgot how to do the shield in this game. I think there's a way that you can use a shield. But yeah, I, I really don't understand getting angry over Sony offering more stuff on the PSN. It's not like you have to buy it. God. You don't have to purchase it. And yeah, it would be really nice if you could just pop your disc into the... Oh god, I'm really fucking up. If you could just pop your disc into your PS3 all of a sudden and play it through emulation or whatever. Or even the original hardware would be nice, but... Okay. But, damn it. You know, it would be really nice, but I mean, it's... Like, I think this is a great option. Um... I was really happy when I found this out, and I did find out through Review Tech USA's video. Which I, I do like his channel, however, I don't always agree with him. In fact, a lot of the times I don't agree with him, but something about his channel I do like. I don't know why. He always likes to uh, fight with the fanboy shit. I don't know. And then I don't even know. I don't know about him. <laughs> Anyways. Kind of wish he would do more reviews. Whatever. Uh, but let's see. So, yeah, so now anybody who maybe did not have a PS2, uh, ugh, oh, fuck, a PS2 can now have those PS2 titles, and yeah. And I'm gonna die soon, so. This the. Ay. Couldn't get that thing to die. I'm gonna die soon, by the way. I'm dead. Anyways, yeah, so that's basically my opinion. I have absolutely no problem with them releasing PS2 titles on the, the PSN. They release PS1 titles for you to download, and I love it. And now that they've added PS2 titles, I think it's great, too. I think I can't wait for some uh, more titles, maybe something a little better than what they've got. I mean, this game is good. But uh, I would like to see something. I, I, I like to see the more the non not so popular games uh, being released. But I would also like to see something a little ah more popular. Um, you know, good popular, not bad popular, but you know something that. Um, and I'm sure they will release some popular stuff. They normally have a problem not releasing um, games that are not so popular. But yeah. Plus, um, this seems to work a little better, by the way, than the backwards compatible PS2s. There's a slight... I don't know, there's, there seems to be a slight difference here. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. But, uh, what is it? What was I gonna say? Uh, I was gonna say something else. I think. Oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. something about the, the combat of it. Oh, yeah, and another way it works is the same because it's weird. You, when you start up the PS2 games, you actually have to re, you know, start. You have to press the P, the blah, 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 the PS button on your controller to start the controller again, which happens on backwards and paddle ones. And I don't know why it does that, but it does. 
But yeah, I, I don't see uh, a lot of black bars on here. Like, there's not a black bar on the sides. There's one small one on the top and bottom. I don't know if it's just this game, but it might just be this game. I'm downloading another title as well as we speak. Uh, yeah, I got like over a hundred something dollars in uh, trade-in money, so I grabbed a couple of uh, cards. I got one for the Xbox 360 as well. So, to purchase the new Crisis 1 that I said I would never buy because I hated the, uh... Ah! Fuck you. The, uh, Crisis, uh... The way they did the Crisis 2 multiplayer, you know, all that fucking bullshit with the bugs and they didn't fix them. So, that was that. Whatever. Right, I got... Fuck you. God damn it. Okay, I hate that when the ghost comes out. Anyways, uh, maybe I'll just play a little bit more, and um, then after I play more, I'll, uh, yeah. So yeah, so now I'll just shut up and play more, that's fine.